more standard, I suppose, and that one position, uh, centaur wall runner. And the swapping lane style. for Eddie. Yeah. Ah, actually, fun. Shadow Demon on the side. I don't know they can do only with the nets on Boot Mother follow up stun there, so they right click quite a bit, but they do not actually have sentries at the ready. And meanwhile, Invoker dies me. Alright. Alright. And I think that's coming out of the lane is a lot better than you think about. Sure, the uh, first few things went against them. But Bruce does not want to be in the safe lane at all. Like, it's so much more efficient to be able to clear this camp, this camp, this camp, oh and then cut this way. Whereas now. Look at Shatchel, like, actually. You'll actually kill you all if he gets another spin. There it is. He will die to the tower. Yeah, so not <laughs> I mean, he wasn't exactly in a good position. It's like other shit. In this case, it's just yeah. the spider links with Phobos that can control, <coughs> can control directly. I'm actually trying to set up on this back, but I don't think he's a killable hero. No, I'm just trying to force out the call before they. This DD actually. Yeah, there's there's the call. So maybe now they can uh, right click him down, and assassinate. Yeah, they brought enough damage through, and the spike carabins and the stun from Roger is not coming enough. Sunswork will connect. Not enough damage to kill iceberg. Radiant structures so, yeah. fortified. As you said, it's only the axe really that can stick around here. And I guess see it in, in this next. And it's also pretty good because there, it's, so. uh, it gives you a straight path. To the lane too, so it's too oh god, that was a loud noise here. <laughs> Moved the spike carabas in so many units, but ultimately doesn't end up mattering. They do catch him out on Zeke. Well, a little bit too far forward. That stampede so, will be enough. Sunstrike will uh, not be hitting. You're all sitting in the middle of that, but now it's. Poker just caught outside the base, Chargelo gets a call off the tube, Spiders are still doing their magic, gets a dunk off of one of the balls. For now, just the actual heroes, <laughs> close range assassinate. Why not? Extra nukes, better than right clicks here up against the axe. Uh, Dragonlance, a decent amount of stats, most viability, and a lot of damage coming up from Luke subsequently as well. So. Radiant now a bit of a smoke, just waiting for someone to show their face, maybe with Charge, who's blink is being cancelled constantly by the single spider link blink stun there from BZ, is annoying, channels it up, disruption on the main hero, nice little stun there from the Nyx, this is gonna be enough to, <laughs> okay, Iceberg on the side, it's brought down, so Doi's still fighting against something, Sunders' his teammate is still alive. Two four trades so far, so this effect trying to get the hell out of so DK Boba saying he'll find uh, uh he'll find Alpha Ninja who came down as the front lines. So two off laners to make a death pact. So Doi last minute standing here all of a sudden, team in fact he's pretty damn scary in FNG. Almost being bashed down by his own illusion, but the rest of his team gets him enough control. He can heal up on the back of the urn and come back to help out with the actual kill. On the one position, the full team effect, and this is how Team Spirit won the team fight. If uh, they can't push up to the high ground and everybody's hitting your racks, I know who I'd rather <laughs> be. I mean, Sniper might have the better range. Oh, BZ gets a stun off, and now a couple of extra TPs come through. The Hurricane Pike ready. Stampede to try and catch up against Toy. Well,. Can you get the Sunder off this crash? Can I control him enough? Yes, they can. Direct to Duke. Pretty damn strong. And we will mid. Can't affect get anything else off of this. Ah, man. Excess has another blink, but just scattered well enough. Well, they might find the Rubik kill, but that's a pretty small kill. And it could result in a uh, life. Yep. Sunswear comes through, Spike Carabas at the right time, but now blinks right into the loving arms of Phobos. Poor guy. Uh, that's not another stun and a Carapace available, and Deke Phobos actually, yeah. Still in the fight, still getting out. Shasha now with a blink on two, Alpha Ninja in the side. Doesn't have too many spells to work with her, unfortunately. Now Deke Phobos with a big he doesn't recap about that anyway. Assassinated and Trapless from the side, Iceberg blinking away at the rest of them. Guard is good, but not good enough. This effect scatter through all the winds. Only lose Invoker, but that's uh, a very poor kill. Never mind. Maybe oh, they also lose our Zeke. Assassination. <laughs> Forced up into the shrine, not enough to save him. Nice attempt, but. Well, now the shrines are open up. 
Whether or not they actually want to continue. Right here, right now. I'd rather play it safe though. Prines are so much more yeah. accessible and they give you. Oh, okay, Shashu will follow up and look for Iceberg here. Not quite enough to bring down now. Beast Z. Acid Anchor in the front line. Just keeping the rest of the fact from finishing the job. Instead to find Shashu and Roger, Yol will take a spill, but they gotta be happy with that. If they happen to find someone, then it's even better. That's a pretty good kill to find. There's no ogre here, and it's, it's an Aegis Iceberg still, but don't have the full lineup to try and help them. But you can go for it anyway. Beat the team, nice little double stop, and they do find Shacho, defensive construction. Roger keeps it alive temporarily. Iceberg gets to the assassination attempt of the crew. Fowell dies for the first time in this game, it feels like. After getting a beyond godlike speak, BZ with another stun, and that should be enough for Sadoi. And it is at four staff, not saving him, and the Sun could also not come out. Do end up making yeah, it work right. extremely well. It's such a nice idea, but. Okay, they're not done yet. They want full five. They yeah, were probably gonna get it, come to get it here now, unless they mess up. And they're gonna get punished. They did. Yeah. Four star buybacks, but losing two of your own heroes for that? Not worth. Sure. Absolutely no bueno for that play. Look at this, that's like uh, more than a thousand golds. I want him to actually have really high agility. But the uh, int thing, uh, I just never thought about. Uh, now we have the me max caster build as well, the int might be relevant. <laughs> just playing in sniper and constantly spam assassinate. No, no, you do it with active vigilance. Absolutely. So the int allows you to cast more. Alright, the fight breaks out, so let's talk about that. Our Zeke will die to a couple of records. People in the back, Roger is being tracked down by Phobos and Yol. So it looks like Spirit 1 on two fronts. They also got the Aegis on a sniper, so it's not as susceptible to these kind of nuke down attempts. So Team Spirit's finally getting some sort of control control back after bounce back for quite a while, but now they're the ones who once again are forced to buy back. But at the end of the day, they're yeah, still in a strong defensive position. They have a even on Terrorblade, so definitely don't want to go into that. Okay. Sniper caught by the call. Shot down. Decent amount of damage here with the blade mail. But Sador ends up falling. He'll have to buy back. Trying to create some chaos, but Spirit will have none of it. Nice little EMP, though. Just kind of crippling their, their multi fight a little bit until the mana boots come out immediately. Fantastic. Yeah. I can come right back. He also has an axe that we haven't talked about just yet, but who else comes to Wurz can just throw that one out and all of a sudden. The control factor that's, yeah, no buyback, 60 seconds down for the count. They know that as well, the support back in the next so How do we stop right this right now? Track. I mean, Team Spirit, they can just sit in the low ground and blink away at this tower. Or just go straight oh, in, show sure, with the double storm, he's creating space. Sadoi with a BKB in the front line, so that's chasing them away, and they might give up BZ. Even the Chi is just buy more time for the rest of his team to come back in as Sadoi calls back. Yeah, I'm going to make you but Iceberg actually needs to be in position to right click things, but they're right clicking in, that's not exactly where you are, and the call will miss, but he's not fast enough to run away, so he just gets stuck instead. I hope Thanks. you go down mid and force buybacks, boys. Yeah. That was uh, way too much from the center. Yeah. I think he just needed to sit like here, Evers, hit the tower, chill. Yes. I mean, the actual ultimate of Hero. Yeah. But they'll go high ground, force buybacks, hit the range track a few times maybe, and then back off, I presume, and wait for a better chance. Or, he's walked up after buying back and he's about to start hiking. Alright, they're trying That's their best to throw over, and they're really good at it. They're like, helping a little bit. Without the sniper, it's... with the damage. Uh, Groot does okay, I suppose, but... But Groot also gets control killed Groot. one more. Yeah, Unless they're up there. Yeah. That pops a BKB and it turns it around. Like, assassin dodging the heroes. 
still alive. I just need to get the order. Big opportunity for them to yeah, just create a lot of space and make them. Joshua gets into the blink call. On the center though, he's still quite tanky. Uh -huh. Roger ends up falling finally. Go with the buyback. That's the door, it's just a sensible thing. Jack Base Gaming stunned up with a nice little multicast. Sniper was here, would have been interacting down with or without that uh, the Grimson Guard, but instead just walks her forward to use the Sunder. Gonna be able to mega creep them now. Still 45 seconds, but it feels like an internally for a sniper to come back. Well, was trying his best here to clean up the back lines. Now, I think he cast again on Terrible. He doesn't have a Sunder for another 20 seconds, but instead he falls that out. Trying to deter DK Phobos, and I guess hold it for now. Maybe they can do that again. That DKB will end now. DK Phobos will blink forward and just silence, but no real follow up. Thanks for the tornado from our, our from NJ. In fact, I actually have fight, uh, fight back from both their cores. Yeah. Whereas, uh, I feel like you're not. And they're gonna catch here, but I mean, who really cares, you know? Next. He's actually not even gonna die. No, oh, he's gonna Oh, it's Stampede, okay. It was close. That's the play there, just staying right on top of the Stampede to get that instant damage to it. Make sure he can't blink or do any shenanigans. Now, maybe can they get something else? The door actually caught by Yol. Can they get the fallout? There it is. It's gonna stop the damage here, but disruption comes out. Turn this thing around with the BKB. Sunder onto Yol. So, Sadoi back up to full health to take down the Rubik. Sadoi charge with better, the BKB. It's about to run out. And <laughs> The Root even coming through, but they will find FNG Iceberg in quite a compromised position as well. He gets stunned up by Roger, and he still does have no buyback available for three minutes. Is this it? Yeah, that's game. GG. Effects, they come back. I mean, Catch the uh, game that has been thrown by Spurred, I guess you could say. I mean, yes, they kind of threw, but...